Kylie Jenner has broken her silence regarding the deaths of eight people at her partner Travis Scott's Astro World Festival in which she attended. Police have said eight people, including one as young as 14, died, and scores were injured after a packed and chaotic crowd at Travis's concert in his hometown of Houston surged towards the stage. The case remains under investigation. Kylie, who is pregnant, attended the show with her and Travis's three-year-old daughter, Stormy Webster, and sister, Kendall Jenner. All three, who are typically accompanied by bodyguards, were unhurt. Kylie shared in a statement posted to her Instagram story, Travis and I are broken and devastated. My thoughts and prayers are with all who lost their lives, were injured, or affected in any way by yesterday's events. And also for Travis, who I know cares deeply for his fans and the Houston community. She continued, quote, I want to make it clear we weren't aware of any fatalities until the news came out after the show and in no world would have continued filming or performing. I am sending my deepest condolences to all the families during this difficult time and will be praying for the healing of everyone who has been impacted. Many have criticized Travis and organizers on social media for not ending the live stream concert sooner. And in footage posted on social media, attendees can be seen yelling for help and screaming to stop the show. A video reconstruction shared by the Washington Post shows the concert stopped about an hour after concert goers were visibly in distress. According to the outlet, Travis paused his set at least four times. As seen in Apple Music's live stream at one point, he asked security to tend to a passed out guest. Kylie has posted several videos from the concert on her Instagram story while it was still going on and was later heavily criticized on social media over one showing flashing lights from an ambulance cart visible among the tightly packed crowd. Earlier Saturday, Travis broke his own silence about the tragedy, tweeting that he was, quote, absolutely devastated by it. He also took to Instagram to echo those same thoughts he shared on Twitter. I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Um. Travis added that he has been working closely with the city of Houston, Houston police and fire departments saying that if his fans can help quote, figure this out. So if you have any information, you know, please just contact the local authorities. Travis advises fans to just keep their prayers. The identities of three of the victims have been released. Brianna Rodriguez, a 16-year-old Houston High School junior. John Hilger, a ninth grade student who went to a high school in the San Antonio area. And Franco Patino, a 21-year-old senior mechanical engineering student at the University of Dayton in Ohio. Rapper Roddy Rich, one of the artists who performed at the festival, said on his Instagram story early Sunday, November 7th, that he would be donating his, quote, net compensation to the families of this incident.